Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have once again confirmed another Windows update issue where uh, some users are unable to sign in after adding a new Microsoft account user in Windows 11. Now, Microsoft does um, state that this issue is only affecting uh, Windows 11 version 21H2. So it's not affecting Windows 11 server, just version 21H2, which is the latest stable version of the Windows 11 operating system. Now, if we just head to uh, Windows Update, Update History, this is the update that's causing the issues, KB5016691, which was the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out near the end of August last month. And um, Microsoft says that after installing this update and adding a new Microsoft account user in Windows, you might be unable to sign in for a brief time after the first restart or sign out. And the issue is only affecting the newly added Microsoft account user and only for the first sign in. So just take note of that. Now, this is also another reason why I always suggest when these optional bug fix updates do roll out near the end of every month, only install the updates those C release updates if you are experiencing any issues with your operating system else just leave those optional updates alone as they are prone um, in my experience to cause a couple of issues that many of you may know of and may be aware of. Now there is a workaround and Microsoft mentions that if you encounter this issue and are affected basically it will automatically resolve itself after a certain period of time so uh, what they say is you will need to wait for the lock screen to appear again which um, should appear briefly um, after um, and have been un unable to sign in and then you should be able to log in as expected. Now, it's not a major issue, but nonetheless, if you are affected, it can be quite annoying. Now, um, they have also provided a resolution, once again, using a known issue rollback. So um, what a known issue rollback is, in case you're unaware, it's nothing you have to do from your side. So you don't have to download another update or um, you don't have to do anything um, on your operating system. Basically, what they do is from Microsoft side, they undo any issues and problems that were caused by the update. So um, it's something they take care of from their side and could take up to 24 hours um, for, the, the, for the issue to be resolved and be fixed. So just take note of that if you are affected. But what I do suggest with a known issue rollback is that um, if you haven't restarted your device for a, a, a couple of days, as an example, just uh, restart your Windows PC and that will um, help speed up that known issue rollback and resolve the issue if you do find yourself affected. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.